Okay, so we're ready to continue creating a pistol, and we'd like to use the pistol that's hidden in Bellica Guns. Remember, if we go to Bellica Guns and we look for the pistol bone, we have this bone, and if we move it, we can see that there's a pistol hidden in the SMG. Let's figure out how we can use that. Now, I'm going to take our Bellica Guns, right click, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to call this Bellica underscore pistol. So we have a duplicate of Bellica guns called Bellica pistol. Now there's a way to hide parts of our mesh based on the bone. And so if we're going to hide parts of our mesh based on the bone, we need to save the bone name to hide. So we're going to go ahead and add a variable to our weapon class for a bone to hide. Let's go ahead and go to weapon.h and create a private variable of type f name. So f name, and we're going to call this bone to hide. We're going to use the same u property as our previous variables because this is going to be a perfect variable to go in our data table. Our comment will say name of the bone to hide on the weapon mesh. Now we're going to add an F name called bone to hide to our data table as well. So let's go up to our data table and create a new F name called bone to hide and make it edit anywhere, blueprint read write, and then we can set this in on construction. So let's go to weapon.cpp and in on construction where we're setting all of our variables, we're going to set bone to hide. We're going to say bone to hide equals weapon data row bone to hide. Okay, so we've compiled. Let's go and look at our data tables folder and open our weapon data table. Now we have a submachine gun and an assault rifle. And if we scroll down, we'll see that we have a bone to hide. Now the submachine gun is going to hide the bone for the pistol. Now you can't really see it, but if you looked closely enough, you could barely see the pistol hidden in there if you knew what you were looking for. And since we know it's there, we might as well just hide it. So it's called pistol, lowercase. So we're going to put pistol in our bone to hide. Now we need to add a row for the pistol weapon type. Now we're going to go ahead and add that in this video, but we don't have a pistol weapon type in our weapon types enum. We're going to add that, but for now, let's go ahead and add a row. So let's click add and rename this and call this pistol. Now pistol is going to have a whole bunch of values that are not set and that's okay. We can get away with just setting a couple things like the mesh. We're going to click on this and type Bellica underscore pistol and there is Bellica pistol. Now we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and for bone to hide, let's look at the Bellica guns skeleton and we'll go ahead and search for weapon and here is the weapon bone. If I go ahead and drag it up, you'll see that the weapon bone is the SMG itself. So it's weapon lowercase. So we're going to set bone to hide for the pistol to weapon. So go ahead and save that. We'll work on setting the rest of these properties in a future video. For now, we have bone to hide and we have a mesh. So if we go ahead and open up our weapon type dot H and add a new constant to this enum, we're going to add EWT pistol and change this text for display name to pistol. And then we can go into weapon.cpp where we switch on weapon type. And here we're going to add another case. And this will be E weapon type EWT pistol. And what we're going to do is get the row 
called pistol. And we'll go ahead and set our properties here. And once we get to the line where we get our item mesh and hide bone by name, we'll have bone to hide. So once we set it, how do we use this bone to hide variable? Well, we're gonna hide this bone in begin play. So in weapon, let's go ahead and add an override to begin play. So here in the protected section, we'll use virtual void begin play override. And just under on construction, we're going to define begin play. We'll call super begin play. And then we're gonna to check to see if our bone to hide is not equal to an empty F name. So an F name with an empty string. If it's not, then we're gonna get our item mesh and we're gonna call hide bone by name. And we're gonna pass in bone to hide. Now it also takes a enum constant of type E phys body op or physics body option. So we're gonna use this phys body op and we're just gonna pass in none because we don't care about physics for this. And so in begin play, we're gonna hide the bone. Let's compile this. Okay, we're all compiled and I'm gonna drag in a base weapon BP into the world and I'm just gonna set its weapon type to pistol. I'm gonna open up a second viewport and Alt P to play. And let's turn around and look and check it out. We have a pistol. And we even get the green outline when we hover over it. Now we don't see much else because we haven't set any other properties in the data table for the pistol weapon type, but we do have a pistol. So in the next videos, we're gonna go ahead and set up all the necessary things we need to have a fully functioning pistol weapon type. How exciting. See you in the next video.